Hey guys, Monster here. Thought I'd bring you just a really quick EDC update. If you hear kind of like water running in the background, it's my dishwasher going. I'm out in my living room. So let's just jump right into it. Flashlight, start on my left side. Flashlight's the same. Flashlight's the same. Just the uh, Streamlight ProTac AA model. Keys are the same. Chum wallet's the same. That's just an RFID blocking card. And then in my cargo pocket, I just have Glock 43 mag, spare mag just in there. Rocking the Hornady with the uh, red tips in there, the FXTs, I think, the tips. Um, right side in the other cargo pocket, because I'm not wearing tactical shorts, I'm just wearing cargo pockets or cargo pants, cargo shorts today. If I could speak English, you know, that would help. So rocking the Leatherman Skeletal. Took that fishing the other day and it performed really, really well. Uh, I actually might get a pair of just for fishing. Uh, not right now because they're like 60 bucks a piece, but it performed really well. I'm really, really impressed with it. Got a knife here that I think I'm going to switch to indefinitely for now. It kind of, for the years I've been carrying a knife, this kind of fits everything I want in a knife. And I don't see myself switching other than back to... Some of the other beater knives this is more expensive than the other beater knives but i figured for i haven't really been breaking any knives knock on wood so 90 bucks it's, you know it is what it is but spread of and dura and green i have the delica and green but i really like bigger knives so there's the spider cone dura and green i'm going to be switching to that for now move that up a little bit Still rocking the Glock 43. It is hot. It is condition one. Still rocking it in the Polycraft holster. I'm probably going to swap out the holster because it seems like the retention is getting looser and looser over time. So other than that, guys, that's that's it. Uh, nothing else has really changed. I do have some changes coming to my EDC bag. I've changed my bag constantly. I went back to the 511 Rush 12, but I kind of have a mindset going where I want a backpack gun, and I went with a certain firearm. But I'm waiting for an SP Tactical Brace to come in, a folding brace that way I can stabilize the firearm, you know, without having to shoulder it and still hit out to 100 yards. And if it does hit my shoulder, which the ATF has ruled that it is okay for the braces to sporadically hit your shoulder, if I need to brace it on my arm or brace it on my shoulder or brace it off a car or something to where I can reach out to 100 yards a little more effectively than I can with like a, a normal, you know, conventional pistol that I wear on my hip. Because the item that, the firearm that is going in the bag is by law a pistol. It's just not a pistol like this that goes on your hip. It's it's more of a pistol caliber carbine, but it's it's a pistol. So anyways, that's coming up here soon. We got a duty belt video coming up soon. I'm waiting for one or two more items. I had to go get certified with a couple things, and I had to throw on holsters on my belt for those things. And I'm waiting for some key keepers, and after that, I'm going to do a duty belt video for you guys. But other than that, that is my EDC update as of right now. Stay safe, stay indoors. Take it easy, guys. Stay bladed and stay pewed. Stay free.